see some ruins up ahead. Wait here. I'll go take a look. Oh, Victor. You still do a lot of traveling these days? Yeah, I try. I tend to pick jobs that get me away from the computer. <laughs> yeah, I was telling Nathan it's shocking how much of the business has moved to the internet. I mean, I bet you have all sorts of options to get rid of hot cargo now. Yeah, sure, but I prefer talking to clients face to face. Get a good read on it. I'd do that in a chat room talking to some guy named Antiquity Master 37. Yeah. Not much to see here. Well, ah, nothing worthwhile. Come on, let's keep going. Okay, so with our luck, what are the odds this volcano is going to erupt on us? Zero. It's extinct. Trust me, that's the first thing I looked up when we said we were heading for a volcano. That and where to rent the cheapest for me. Wait, Sully, you're telling me that you actually did some research? Can't let you be the know-it-all every time. You're right back, fellas. We're stopping here? Yeah, back in a sec. <clears throat> All right, let's roll.
Okay, kid. Just don't drop us. I just keep it slow. Keep it in the center. Yeah, there's a lot of backseat driving. Going. Ah! We're good. Everything's good. Hey, Nate, watch the signs. Sorry, guys. Ah, shit. <laughs> All right, hang on, guys. with airbags or parachutes. Look, tire tracks. Someone came up this way. I'm gonna scout around. Hey, look up there on the hill. Got a tower or something. Now we're talking. Hey, Victor, what were you arguing with the rental guy about? Oh, your brother insisted on getting a 4x4 with a winch. So you sprung for the winch, but you couldn't spring for the suspension. I got it. Hey, it's important. It's going off-road. It might rain, might be muddy. How about we go through this whole goddamn thing and never use that winch? All right, hang on tight. Nathan, you're thinking Avery, too, and some other big shot pirates pulled their treasure and came out here because... Why exactly? Who knows? Maybe for protection? British authorities were closing in on him. Sure. Maybe, uh, he helped them disappear. I mean, the guy clearly had a knack for hiding things. a valiant effort. Let's go check out that tower. Got some big plans for this winch. It's in pretty good shape for something several hundred years old. Yeah. They're definitely ruins from Avery's era. There. That ought to do it. Deeper than it looks. All right, ready? Give it a shot. Here we go. Steady. Steady. <laughs> See, Sully? Winch. Totally worth it. We cleared a hill. It hasn't exactly paid for itself. Well, yeah. Small victories. Yeah, well, I'll celebrate the big ones. <clears throat> 
Sam, look. That's Christopher Condon's sigil. He's uh, captain of the Fiery Dragon, operated out of Madagascar around Avery's time. So maybe Avery recruits pirate captains to what be his lookouts? That don't make any sense. No, it doesn't. Well, maybe each captain was responsible for a tower, along with providing the men for it. Whatever the case, this certainly isn't our final stop on our tour. Feast your eyes, gentlemen. Wow. Spectacular. Just imagine, you've come here, a well-to-do pirate far away from your oppressive government. <laughs> Those poor oppressed pirates. All they wanted to do was to murder and pillage in peace. No, no, they wanted to live as free men. Well, if you're gonna pick a place to run away from society, you could do a lot worse than here. Taking forever to get to this volcano. Patience, Victor. Patience. Do you know how those pirates got here? They had to start in England, sail to Brazil, then cut back across the Atlantic to South Africa. Sam. And they figured all that out with paper, charts, and by looking at the stars. Hey, you're describing sailing to a form of squid. The point is, we got it pretty easy. Yeah. Oh, shit. Stop. Stop. Sam. What do we got? Military types poking around. Nadine's guys? Yep. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Looks like they found an old colony outpost. But the wrong one, right? That's the good news. That means it's bad news. The only route to the volcano is straight through them. Oh, shit. You do have the drop on them. What's the play here, Nathan? Just follow my lead.
Wait. No way I imagined that. Nothing yet. How's it? You have that dungus hooked up yet? We're all set up. Just waiting on approval from Nadine to blow it. Good. Place looks empty. I'd like to get it over with and move on. Okay, I think that's it. God damn it. Rafe and Nadine must have dozens of guys out here. I mean, they, they could just stumble onto the treasure through blind luck. Looks like that bridge leads back to the trail.
Jesus, these pirates really need to work on their infrastructure. Now, how do we get out of here? One down, one to go. Again with the winch, Sully. Pretty handy, right? I wasn't against getting the winch. I was against getting ripped off. <laughs> Let me know when I can open my eyes. Sully, just how well do you know Nadine? No oh, shit! No! Sully, just how well do you know Nadine? Why? I was thinking maybe you can contact her, convince her to call off her goons. <laughs> yeah, right. What if we promise her a bigger cut than rape? No, that's not how she operates. She's more of a money up front kind of mercenary. The rape's got the advantage there. Look, shoreline. Yeah, they're definitely going all in, aren't they? And getting awful close to that volcano. Singing the same damn thing. What if they found the treasure already? Well, look, they're searching every inch of this place. If they'd found it already, they wouldn't be searching. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Hey, Sam, you don't mind me asking, how'd you pass the time in prison? Hey, you know. Reading, mostly. There was this one guard saw me as a charity case, I guess. He'd uh, check out books from the library for me. What would you read? <laughs> History, uh, especially anything related to Avery and other pirates. Just in case, you know. Sure. Well, you know, besides... Uh, hey, is that a well? Sorry, you were saying? Um, no. Oh, right. Well, you know, besides books, push-ups, smoking, trying to stay out of fights between rival gangs, it's a whole lot of thinking. That's pretty much it. Sam, if you had a guard doing you favors, why didn't you use him to get word to us? Oh, I tried. I asked him to mail a letter to your P.O. box. I never got it. That would be because the warden saw it. I got busted up pretty bad and never saw that guard again. Jesus. I got my own back when the warden decided to room me with Alcazar. That didn't turn out how he... Ah, hell. See that smoke? Ooh, shoreline, slow down.
Sorry, you were saying? Um, no, oh, right. That didn't turn out how he expected. You know, come to think of it, I actually dealt with Alcazar a few decades ago, even before I met you two. Oh, shit. How are you still alive? Well, he wasn't quite the man he is today. Still working his way up the criminal ladder then. I sold his boss a few woodcut prints I'd smuggled out of Japan. He was into shoguns and such. Alcazar was the go-between. What was he like? Soft-spoken, but intense. Like you could explode at the slightest provocation. <laughs> well, he hasn't changed much then, has he? I got my money and got the hell out of there. Oh! Looks like Shoreline found something. Go slow. You got it. So, Pirate walks into a Okay, here we go. And he's got the steering wheel sticking out of his crotch. All right. So the bartender goes, hey, man, what's with the wheel? And the pirate sits back, ah, he's driving me nuts. <laughs> ah, I love that one. Don't make me leave you out here. Check it out, boys. What is it? Hey guys, there's another tower just over the hill. See any shoreline marks? Can't tell. Well, it would appear we got here first. Let's uh, check the place out and keep moving. Drawbridge? How medieval. Yeah. Well, you don't put up a drawbridge unless you're trying to keep people out. Or protect something inside. <laughs> Nathan, come check this out. Another sigil. So, do you recognize this one? I do, actually. And Bonnie. Mm -hmm. Operated out of the hell Caribbean. The stairs are busted. There's no way up to the gym. crank. At Let's see if I can find something to stand on. Us. <laughs> right. Avery must have invited her, too. Be careful, kid. Kid, you see a big crate or something way up at the top of the tower. Maybe that'll do the trick. Hey guys, there's a massive tower just past the drawbridge. Biggest one yet. All right, I'm up. Be careful. Bingo. Sam! That's the military! Whoa, 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 whoa! Hey, kid, you all right? I'm fine. You all right? Yeah. You got this? Mm-hmm. 
I seen a few. I'll bring the car closer. <laughs> you two just relax. I got this. I mean, there's only one crime, you know. Keep up the good work, kid. Bridge down. Let's try that again. <laughs> 